Hi, welcome to APS 2020 Shaping the Future. This session will be all about Computer 101 for Parents, sponsored by Comcast. Today we will be covering the following topics in this video. Please know we will be using GIFs for the tutorial portion of this video, so feel free to pause this video at any time to watch the GIF play. GIFs play on a loop. Here are the topics today. How to turn on and off a Chromebook, how to sign in on a Chromebook, how to log into Chrome, how to set up Chrome translations, how to use Google Translate, how to create a free Gmail account, how to send an email, including emailing the help desk in Aurora, how to use the Google Waffle, how to search slash browse and bookmark links, how to access Chrome settings and update Chrome, and how to navigate a Google Calendar. If you'd like to have access to this presentation, please visit the bit.ly link below, or you can use the QR code reader. You might find this QR code on other slides throughout the presentation. In order to access the QR code, use your smartphone camera and point it directly at the QR code. A link will pop up. You click there and you will be directed to this presentation. How to sign in on a Chromebook as your child. Your first step when opening a Chromebook and powering it on is to click Add Person. Your second step if you're using a managed Aurora Public Schools device is to type the email without adding aurorak12.org. Your next step is to enter the password and click Next. You will then be logged into Chrome as your child. In this slide, we will show you how to turn a Chromebook on and off. The button on the right, circled in red, is the power button. To turn on the Chromebook, push this button once. To turn a Chromebook off, you would simply need to push that button again. If your Chromebook becomes unresponsive, pushing the refresh button on the left, circled in red, and the power button simultaneously will restart the Chromebook. In this slide, we will show you how to sign into your personal Google account. Your first step to sign into Chrome is to go in the upper right corner where the picture is and click Add. The next page will allow you to give yourself a name and an emoji, then click the blue Add button. Instead of clicking Get Started, click Sign In and enter your email and your password. Then you will receive two pop-ups. To take full advantage of Chrome, Click Link Data on the first pop-up, and Yes, I'm In for the second pop-up. From there, you'll be able to add bookmarks and set preferred language to take full advantage of Google Chrome. In this slide, we will show you how to enable your home language in Google Chrome. In the upper right corner, there are three little dots. Click those three little dots and go to Settings. Next, you want to go to Advanced and click Languages. From there, you can push the down arrow on Languages and choose a different language. You can also reorder your preferred language. If you click the three dots next to that language, you'll be able to move up or down. The top language listed will be your preferred language. Enabling your home language on Chrome will enable you to view web pages in your home language automatically. In this slide, we will talk about how to use Google Translate. You can find this at translate.google.com or use the QR code to the right with your phone camera to go directly to Google Translate. Once you are on Google Translate, you can set your language on the left and on the right, choose the language you'd like it to be translated into. You can use the speaker function on both. For example, on the left, if you choose the speaker button, you will be able to speak in your home language and it will be translated in the right box. Similarly, if you push the speaker button on the right, you can have that translated version spoken to you. There are many languages that you can translate into. You can also copy that translation to a text or email by clicking the double document icon. In this slide, we will be walking you through how to create a free Gmail account. You can go straight from the bit.ly address or use the QR code in the upper right to go directly and create a free Gmail account. Your first step would be to fill out your information on the first page. 
The next page will ask you to provide a phone number. You must have a phone to create a Gmail account. You'll go ahead and click Next, and the next page will ask you to verify that number. You should receive a text message with a verification code that you're going to put in there. You'll need to click Verify. The next page will ask you to click Yes, I'm in, and then review the privacy and terms. Click I agree, and you will have successfully set up a free Gmail account. You can use this Gmail account in several different ways. One, you can email your students' teachers. Two, you can have free access to Google Drive, Docs, Slides, Sheets, as well as many other Chrome apps. In this slide, we will show you how to send an email specifically to the help desk at aurorak12.org. First, you will go to mail.google.com to access your Gmail account. Please make sure you have signed into your Google Chrome account so you can access this. Next, click on the Compose button in the upper left corner. A window will appear at the bottom of your screen. In the To line, you can type in helpdesk at aurorak12.org. Please only email the help desk if you have a student currently enrolled in Aurora Public Schools. In the subject line, you would state the issue you are ha having. In the body of the email, please describe the issue and your student's full name. Once filled out, you can click the blue send button. In this slide, we will show you how to use the Google Waffle. Google Waffle is the 3x3 square grid in the upper right corner. You will see the waffle whenever you're on any Google related site. By clicking this waffle, you will be able to quickly access several different Google apps, including Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Classroom. Please know that if you're signed into your personal Gmail account, clicking Google Classroom will not automatically allow you to access your child's Google Classroom. Using the waffle, you can easily navigate to several different Google apps. In this slide, we will show you how to search and browse the internet, as well as how to bookmark links. You may start a search by either typing in a question in the URL bar or going to google.com and entering a question in the search field. Once you push the enter or return on your keyboard, a search will start. You may then scroll down to see the search results, including at the bottom of the page to click on other results as well. Once you found a page that you would like to bookmark, there is a star in the URL bar. By clicking this, it will automatically set a bookmark. You can choose to rename the bookmark and to which folder you'd like it to save to. Complete the process by clicking Done. Bookmarks will now be saved for future reference. Bookmarks are helpful to navigate to your students' learning sites easily and efficiently in the future. In this slide, we will show you how to access Chrome settings, specifically how to update Google Chrome. Often, technological problems can be easily solved by making sure Google Chrome is up to date. First, you want to access the three little dots in the upper right corner of Google Chrome. Next, you'll click on Settings. In Settings, there are many different things you can change to personalize Google Chrome. One of the most beneficial features is updating Chrome. You will click on About Chrome in the lower left portion of the screen. Once there, if Chrome needs to update, it will automatically do so. Once the updates are completed, it will ask you to relaunch Chrome. By clicking the blue Relaunch button, it will close your browser and you can reopen it with Chrome being updated. Once again, updating Google Chrome can often fix glitches and other technology problems easily. In this slide, we will show you how to navigate a Google Calendar. To get to Google Calendar, you can type in calendar.google.com or access it from the waffle. Once there, you will see your Google Calendar. To create an appointment, you can simply click on any one of the dates and will pop open a window for you to create an appointment. You can give it a title, set a time, set it to a recurring event, and invite guests. Once done, you can click on Save. One feature of Google Calendar is to share that calendar. Locate the name of the calendar you'd like to share and click on the three dots. Go to Settings and Sharing. From there, you'll scroll down to share with specific people, click on Add People, and type the email that you'd like to share that calendar with. Your children will also be using Google Calendar for their assignments throughout the school year. If a teacher gives a specific due date for an assignment through Google Classroom, it will show up on your student's Google Calendar. 
Lastly, there's a tech toolkit for families and guardians that Google provides. Please visit the bit.ly link above or use your smartphone camera on the QR code to see this important PDF document. Thank you very much for watching Computers 101 for Parents, sponsored by Comcast.